welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Jen. I am a certified nutrition coach and I follow the WW blue plan. Today we have meal prep. I put out a meal prep video every single Monday where I share three absolutely delicious, calorie friendly, point friendly, healthy, nutritious recipes for you to recreate for yourself for the upcoming week. You will find all of today's recipes on my website, which is linked down in the description box below. Also in the description box, you're going to find my nutrition coaching website. So head over, check it out, take advantage of a lot of the different coaching options that I have for you to help you on your healthy eating, your WW, your weight loss journey. I would love to help you along the way. Also, you're going to find links and discount codes to all my favorite things as well as the link to head over and join my public Facebook group, Jen's WW Tribe. So we'd love to have you join that community over there. So make sure you're checking out that description box. If you are new, stick around, subscribe, hit the little bell next to it so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. We would love to have you join our YouTube community as well. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy meal preps and let's jump in because we have three incredible recipes this week. This week I am making chunky monkey quinoa breakfast bowls. I'm excited for this. It's a great way to get in some healthy food like quinoa that has complete protein. You get a chocolate peanut butter banana goodness. I can't wait for this. So let me show you what's in our breakfast. First you're going to need some quinoa. I have this organic royal white quinoa from Imperfect Foods. You guys know I love Imperfect Foods. I will link it down below with $10 off your first box. They have more than just produce, you guys. I get tons of new food finds from them, and I am excited to try this quinoa. Super affordable, and it helps eliminate food waste, so highly recommend checking out Imperfect Foods. You'll also need some non-dairy milk. I have this forager cashew. You can use cocoa powder or cacao powder. I prefer cacao powder. It's just better for you. It's nutrient-dense superfood, so I always substitute this in place of cocoa powder, but use whatever you have on hand. I'm also using some maple syrup. I love this syrup from Thrive. Thrive is also linked down below. With a membership, you get a free gift up to $22. So I love Thrive. You guys know I order from them all the time. And then I have some organic PB Fit, a ripe large banana, and some salt. So let's make some breakfast. So the first thing we're going to do is add one cup of quinoa and two cups of water to a pan. We are going to get this quinoa cooking down. Once this comes to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and pop a lid on it, put it on low heat, and we're just gonna let it be for about 15 to 20 minutes or until our quinoa is nice and fluffy. So the quinoa is done. Now we are just going to add all the rest of our ingredients directly to our pan, starting with three quarters of a cup of almond milk. And I'm going to give that a quick stir just to get that kind of mixed in and it'll kind of help cool down the quinoa so it doesn't fog up for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that in. This pan of quinoa and toppings that we're adding is going to make four bowls. So four different breakfasts. We're also going to add in our PB2. This is four tablespoons. I went ahead and measured that out on my food scale. Also three tablespoons of the cacao or cocoa powder, whatever it is that you're using. And then I have two tablespoons of pure maple syrup, also measured out on my food scale. And last but not least, one mashed banana. We're going to stir this all together. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. It's like chocolate, peanut butter deliciousness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to mix this all together. I'm going to let it sit here on the stove for just about two to three minutes. I want to make sure that all the flavors of the chocolate and the peanut butter and everything get kind of melded together. And then we'll get this out into bowls. I'll give you points and calories. And we're going to talk about what we can top this with for a little added extra pizzazz when we go to have this for breakfast. So again, this makes four breakfast bowls. Look how good this looks. It seriously smells so good. So I'm just going to divide it out 
in my four meal prep bowls as evenly as I can. And then I'm going to show you some topping options. We'll talk about some things that we can top the bowl with for zero points, as well as some things that we can top the bowl with that have additional points, if that's kind of the route that you wanna take. And then I will give you the points and the calories for just the bowl. And we'll go over points and calories for the toppings as we talk about them. So here is the completed bowl. So this is a good amount and quinoa is very filling. It is a complete protein. And with adding in the PB2 and the cacao powder, it should be nice and filling. So I wanna talk about a few options for some toppings that would be really good with this. So first you could do coconut flakes, like unsweetened coconut flakes. This would be really good to add to the top. You can usually have a tablespoon for one to two smart points. So you could pop on some coconut flakes. Also some additional chocolate because who doesn't want some additional chocolate? So any type of lilies or bake believe or any type of chocolate chip or even the new butterscotch chips or white chocolate chips from lilies would be really good on there. You can also add a little bit of butter, nut butter. So this is cashew butter. You could do peanut butter. You could even mix up some extra PB2 with some water and pop that on top. If you want a zero point topping, you could slice up an additional banana into little banana coins. You could do berries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries would be so good on there. Another option is adding some of your favorite granola to the top would be really good as well. And lastly, how about some jam? I have some blueberry jam. You could really do any flavor of jam and just jazz this up and make a perfect delicious breakfast. So our Chunky Monkey Quinoa Bowl, as it sits with no toppings, just the bowl itself is going to be seven points on both the blue and the green plan. Only three points on purple, just because you don't have to account for the quinoa, which is a big portion of the points. But what's crazy, you guys, this entire bowl is only 214 calories. So if you are strictly calorie counting, that is really low for breakfast. So you could certainly add some of these additional toppings and be well within a good caloric range for a breakfast. So 214 calories, seven points on blue and green, three points on purple. lunches this week I'm making feta and sun-dried tomato turkey meatloaf we're gonna pair that with some mashed potatoes some green beans we are going to already bring in comfort food because we're in fall so let me show you what's in our meatloaf recipe and then what I'm gonna have on the side first you're going to need some sun-dried tomatoes make sure you get them not in oil so that they're zero points you'll also need some almond milk or cashew milk minced garlic breadcrumbs, you'll need a couple of egg whites, a pound of 99% lean ground turkey, you can use fresh parsley or dried parsley, feta cheese, and salt and pepper. And I'm going to pair my meatloaf with some of these frozen Trader Joe's mashed potatoes. These were in my freezer, so I'm gonna use them up. They're the little pellets. I'll show you guys what those look like and we'll make sure that we weigh them out so that we have just a serving in each of our meal prep containers. And then I'm actually going to have some green beans. Again, I'm using up what I have and we'll add some green beans to each day's lunch as well. So let's get started on our meatloaf. So let's get started on the meatloaf. So we are going to add all of the ingredients to our bowl with the exception of the turkey. We're actually going to add that last. So I have a quarter cup of the sun-dried tomatoes. I just kind of roughly chopped those. You don't even have to chop them if you don't want to, but I wanted them to go a little bit further. Here are my two egg whites. And then I also have some minced garlic here. We're gonna put in about three cloves worth of the minced garlic. I thought we could just grab a spoon and just put a good chunk of garlic in there. And then we have one half of a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm using panko. You could use regular breadcrumbs as well. We are going to season with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and a little bit of parsley or a lot of bit of parsley. I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of dried parsley. I have one half of a cup of feta cheese crumbles. I used full fat. You could use fat-free feta and cut down on the points if you want to do that. And then two tablespoons of the almond milk. So let's first give this kind of a preliminary stir, get that all mixed together, and then we will go ahead and add in the turkey. This smells so good. Look at that, you guys. 
Yum. Okay, so now we're going to add in the 99% ground turkey. I will tell you that by using full fat feta, if you're okay taking the points, which by the way, this recipe is extremely low point. I did that on purpose because our breakfast is a little bit higher. So I like to balance it out if I can with a lower point lunch option or vice versa, a low point breakfast and a higher point lunch. Sticking with full fat feta helps a lot because it just makes it a little bit more moist because we are using 99% ground turkey, which can be a little bit dry. And also adding those eggs as well as a little bit of almond milk will make a difference too. But oh my gosh, this looks incredible. Let's grab out our meatloaf pan and get this into the oven. So once you have the meatloaf combined, go ahead and grab out your meatloaf pan, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray, and we are going to add the meat mixture directly to our meatloaf pan. Press it down so that you get that nice loaf shape. And then this is going to go in the oven 375 degrees until it is cooked completely through, which my guess will be about 20 to 30 minutes. You just wanna make sure that that turkey is cooked all the way through. So let's get this spread out in the pan and into the oven. While our meatloaf is in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and put together the sides for meal prep. So I have my three compartment meal prep container. I will link these down below for you guys, all the different ones, the bowls, the three and the two compartment. In one of the small compartments here, I'm going to add my mashed potatoes. This is all I have left, so I'm going to divide them out as even as I can, and then once we put the meal prep together, I'll tell you how many points worth of mashed potatoes I have. When I go to warm these up, I am going to add just a little bit of water. That's all you have to do is add a little water to the pellets, and it makes perfect mashed potatoes, and it's really, really good. So I'll do that, and then I'm also going to add my green beans. This is two cans, so my plan is to go ahead and put one fifth of the beans in each container. I'm putting together five lunch preps total. The meatloaf makes six servings. So five of those will be for my lunch. I'm going to start with five pellets. Actually, let's start with six pellets per meal prep. Again, I don't know if I'll be able to add more once I put together the rest, but let's get all this part done, our green beans and our potatoes, and then our meatloaf should be done. All right, here's our meatloaf. Doesn't this look so good? I am going to let it rest for just a couple of minutes. We'll cut it into six equal servings, put it into the meal prep container, and I'll give you guys points and calories. Ladies and gentlemen. And here is lunch, quick and easy. Most days I have seven of the mashed potato cubes. One day I have six, I was one short, you guys, one to make it an even seven per day. But let's go over points and calories. I can't tell you how excited I am for this meatloaf. It is so moist and tender when I pulled it out of the pan. It looks so good and cheesy from the feta, I'm so Stoked. So the meatloaf itself makes six servings. It is three smart points per serving on both the blue and purple plan, and then four points on the green plan, just because you do have to count for the 99% ground turkey, even though it's really, really low points. And it is 138 calories per serving. That's it. So that is fantastic for lots of good protein. And then if you have six of the Trader Joe's mashed potatoes, it is only two points. The days that I have seven, it is three points. And of course, green beans are zero. So this is lunch, you guys. And with the six potatoes, it's only five points. And with the seven potatoes, it's only six. That is not bad for a complete, healthy, whole food lunch. So I can't wait to dig in. Sweet treat, I am making healthy eggless edible cookie dough. Who doesn't love cookie dough? 
I mean, seriously. So we are using five ingredients. It's a very simple recipe. You can simply change up the chips that you're using. I'm going to give you some suggestions at the end of some different chips you can put in and using the same base recipe. So let me show you what is in our cookie dough. First, you're going to need some peanut butter. I have this crunchy peanut butter. I'm gonna use this. You could use almond butter, cashew butter, creamy peanut butter, whatever your preference is. This is what I have on hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. This brand is only peanuts and salt, no added oil. You're also going to need a can of garbanzo beans. I know it sounds weird, but hang in with me. Stay with me. And then we're going to need some syrup or agave, vanilla extract, and then chocolate chips. And again, I'm gonna give you some options. I'm gonna go with the standard Lily's dark chocolate baking chips. So let's make cookie dough. So to make our cookie dough, I'm gonna use my blender. You can also use a food processor, whatever your preference is. I have one can of garbanzo beans drained and rinsed. So you wanna add those. I know it seems like a weird ingredient, but I promise this should be really, really delicious. We're also going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup. And again, you can use agave if you don't have maple syrup. I have four servings or 56 grams of Lily's chocolate chips. Okay, real life, we should not have put the chocolate chips in until after we blend it. So, pro tip, do not add your chocolate chips until you blend. Mine are just going to be crushed up in there, so. Keep that in mind. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Gosh darn it, and I don't have another can of garbanzo beans, but on my website, I will put the right way to do the recipe. It'll still be delicious. And then I have a half of a cup of the peanut butter. And you could use PB2 if you wanna to try to lower the points, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use regular peanut butter and then one teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're just going to blend this up. Now remember, you would not put the chocolate chips in like me, you would reserve those and put them in once it is all blended. So here is what the cookie dough looks like. I ended up having to add a little bit of almond milk and I think it's because I added the chocolate chips. There are still chunks of chocolate in there so I am not gonna complain. But let's get this into a bowl so you can see what the finished product looks like. And remember, yours will have big chocolate chips in it instead. And here is the edible cookie dough. You guys, it's actually looks really good and it made a ton of it. So I'm gonna share with you some other chip suggestions if you wanna make different flavors of the edible cookie dough, but let's go over the points as is with the Lily's dark chocolate chips. And again, you can use PB2 if you wanna lower the points, but as it stands, eight servings, so that's quite a big serving. Eight servings is five smart points on blue and purple and six points on the green plan, 183 calories. And I will tell you, I tried this. You do not taste the beans at all. You taste the chocolate chips, the sweetness of the honey. It's really good. It tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough. So that is the points and calories for this blend. And let me pull out some extra chips and give you some variations. So some other variations are the white chocolate chips from Lily's, which I'm out of, but that would be really, really good in there, like a white chocolate chip cookie dough. These butterscotch baking chips would be amazing. Chocolate mint would be really good. And then these I recently picked up in my grocery haul on Saturday. You guys, these chips are so good. These milk chocolate bake believe. These taste like real chocolate chips. There's no stevia taste. You know how lilies are good, but they have that little bit of stevia taste. These have nothing. These are incredible. So I highly recommend these if you can get your hands on those, but those would be just some fun variations on the cookie dough, but yum. Who doesn't love cookie dough. Thank you for joining me on this week's meal prep. Aren't these three recipes to die for? Hello cookie dough? Yes please. I cannot wait to dig into breakfast, lunch, and of course the cookie dough all week long. Again these recipes are on my website which is in the description box along with my nutrition coaching website. I'd love to help you on your healthy lifestyle journey so definitely check that out. Discount codes, links to my favorite things, including some of the items I shared with you today, and the link to head over and join my public Facebook group, Jen's WW Tribe. We'd love to have you over there as well. So again, if you're new, I'd love it if you'd stick around, hit the little subscribe button, and the bell next to it so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Like I mentioned, I meal prep every Monday so you don't wanna miss out. Again, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this beautiful Monday, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, friends.